Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about the sprint report. You've probably seen this report anytime that you've completed a sprint, but have you ever taken the time to digest, to understand what's going on? And I'm going to answer the question of what's the difference between the sprint report versus the burndown report? Let's jump into today's video, and I'm going to break down this report for you so that you have an insight into how to best use this report over some of the other ones. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It tremendously does help out the channel. It's absolutely free for you. All you gotta do is click that red subscribe button. And if you get bad at this video, drop a like. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything that I talk in today's video, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira. Now the sprint report is, the sprint report's interesting. Um, it's not the best. And it's basically a copy of the burndown, but it's most valuable at the end when you complete your sprint. And so what this one does is it gives you a summary of your burndown. What you'll notice though, is you can't change, like you can change the sprint from which the report is generated from, but you can't change the value. So you can't change it to be the story points or the original estimate or the issue count. It's only the story points. So if you're not using story points, you're out of luck. This report won't do you any good. But one really, really cool thing that you can do in the sprint report is you can actually come to this ellipsis here and for whatever reason, not recommending you do this, but for whatever reason, if you ever got get caught up in a situation where you accidentally close the sprint prematurely where it shouldn't have been closed and you're like, OMG, my whole life, I'm going to get fired. Worry minor commander. You can actually come in here. And this, you'll be able to click on this reopen sprint, which will be able to basically reopen that sprint. So if you're ever in that situation where you, where you accidentally close that sprint, come to that sprint report and reopen it. So that's, that's a really cool thing that you can do in the sprint report. Again, use it wisely. Don't reopen every sprint, but it's a, it's a cool place for you to come in here. Ops Genie Alerts. I have no idea why this is in here. Ops Genie, in case you're curious, is there's an on-call capability built into Jira Service Management not really a Jira software thing. And it's mainly for like an IT help desk. So I have no idea why, <laughs> why at last includes it here. But anyways, uh, I'm sure there's a use case and some value for it. I don't think at last would have just naively put it in here, but I've never specifically used it with any, any uh, success or any, anything of value. So we'll just skip right on over that. Now, what you do get now is the, the sprint status report which is very similar. It's not exactly the same thing as the burndown. It doesn't give you the same level of details. It just gives you a summary. Because remember, this is a sprint report, which is kind of like the whole summary of what happened during the sprint, but not in the same level of detail, which is why I don't like this report as much. And I really do like the other one more. And so what you'll get here is you'll get the stories, what type they were, right? So not, not, they're not always stories or sometimes bugs or tasks. You'll get the priority for those items, the status that it's in, and the number of points that you completed, which is 16. And then below you'll get the bad news, which is you obviously didn't finish some work, right? So like I said, most teams try to shoot for a hundred. I've never once seen a team hit a hundred percent completion on their sprint, but it will tell you basically what didn't get completed and what's going to have to roll to the next sprint or get pushed back to the top of the backlog. So that's all in this report here, which again, it's it's kind of interesting to watch. Uh, typically, the way teams use this is when they go and complete the sprint, they'll this will pop up automatically. This is a default report that just gets presented to you when you complete that sprint. And then you kind of just scroll through it. You go yada, yada, yada. And then you go to Confluence and then you do your, your retrospective. I would spend some time reading through this, but if, if this one's like not a value, I would challenge your scrum master to go open up that burndown chart and really try to understand what happened in that burndown chart, because that one's going to give you the right details so that you can make the right pivots so that hopefully in the future, you can make better decisions and not repeat the same mistakes, which by the way, in case you're wondering is the whole purpose of the retrospective is to kind of reflect and try to figure out what happened, where did we go wrong and how can we improve? Right. And so those are the things that you want to do there. And, and so this is the kind of the stuff there. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please make sure you're subscribed. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, just hit that red button. It's super easy, super free, 
no effort to you and it helps out the channel tremendously we're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers here so please 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 make sure you hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't done it already and if you did get value out of this video that you just watched make sure you drop a like because that helps out the algorithm tremendously it helps jira be known to more people and it just helps more people watch these videos so make sure you hit that thumbs up and if you have any questions comments or concerns if you just want to say hi and interact in the comment section feel free to leave a comment i do read and respond to every single comment so if you have any questions anything that you want to just discuss or even if you just want to say hello to help out that algorithm um, let me know in the comment section below thank you and i'll see you in the next one bye it's only worth it if you work for it it's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now